Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be solving some MCQs from the chapter Cell Membrane and Transport, which is the part of AS Level Biology 9700. Let's start. MCQ number one, a plant cell is placed in a solution with a less negative or higher water potential than the cell contents. Which change occurs in the cell and what causes the change? So guys, they are saying that there is a plant cell and that plant cell is placed in a solution. So this is the plant cell and this plant cell is placed in a solution with a higher water potential or we can say less negative water potential. So the solution has a higher water potential and inside the plant cell there is lower water potential so water in this case will enter into the cell from the solution from a higher water potential to lower water potential by osmosis this will cause the cell to become turgid right water flows from a higher water potential to lower water potential from the solution into the cell so what will happen is that the change in the cell is that the change is that the cell will become more turgid and what causes it water diffusing into the cell the answer is d let's move on to mcq number two the diagram shows part of the cell surface membrane which components help to maintain the fluidity of the membrane so guys uh, the parts of the membrane that maintain fluidity are the cholesterol, the fatty acids of the phospholipids, right? So the part five of the membrane, the part five labeled here is the part of the membrane, which is actually cholesterol, right? And three is the fatty acid chain of the phospholipid, right? So you need to know that fluidity is controlled by or maintained by the types of fatty acid chains in the phospholipid and by the cholesterol. So the answer is D, 3 and 5. Let's move on to MCQ number 3. Which part of the phospholipid molecule makes up most of the thickness of the cell surface membrane? So guys, if we recall, majority of the thickness of cell surface membrane is because of the hydrophobic tails or we can say hydrocarbon tails of the fatty acids right so the answer over here will be b the hydrocarbon chains which are actually hydrophobic tails mcq number four the diagram shows a plant cell the plant cell is put into a solution with a water potential less negative or higher than the cell contents what will happen to the appearance of the cell? So guys, this is the plant cell. It's placed into a solution which has a higher water potential or less negative water potential as compared to the cell. So cell has a lower water potential. So it means that water will enter into the cell by osmosis and the cell will become turgid. So guys, when the cell becomes turgid, it will look somewhat like this. Um, the vacuole will enlarge and uh, the cell wall will slightly thin out and the cell will expand actually the overall size of the cell will not increase the vacuole will enlarge and the cell wall uh, will thin out slightly the cell will not burst as in d because of the cell wall and the states a and b show plasmolysis mcq number five which structures are present in large numbers at sites of active transport so guys you need to know that for active transport the cell requires atp right ATP requirement and for that near the sites of active transport there are large numbers of mitochondria to provide ATP answer is B let's move on to MCQ number six the diagram represents stages in the glucose uptake through a cell surface membrane which process is shown so guys we can see over here that this is glucose it's in higher concentration outside the cell and lower concentration inside the cell and we can see that glucose is traveling into the cell via a carrier protein, right? 
so because it's moving from a higher concentration to lower concentration it's diffusion and because the glucose is diffusing through a carrier protein it's called facilitated diffusion and not the simple one simple diffusion is when the molecules diffuse through the gaps between the phospholipids okay let's move on to mcq number seven identical animal cells were placed in a solution identical animal cells were placed in solutions of differing water potentials so guys uh, these are the identical animal cells and they were placed in different solutions of different water potentials right the diagram shows the volume of the cells at the start and at the end which cell was placed in the solution with the lowest most negative water potential so guys if a cell is placed in uh, the lowest water potential or in the most negative water potential this means that the water will move out of the cell by osmosis right for example if a cell is placed in a solution that has a very low water potential or most negative water potential so obviously water will flow out of the cell by osmosis and this will cause the volume of the cell to decrease so the answer should a in b volume remains unchanged in c volume increases and in D, the cell bursts. So in C and D, water is entering into the cell. And in B, there is no change in the volume of the cell, which means that there is no net movement. So only the possibility is A, because uh, we have placed the cell in the lowest water potential. So water should come out of the cell by osmosis. And the volume of the cell should decrease. So the answer should be A. Let's move on. To MCQ number eight, which mo which molecule prevents the cell surface membrane from becoming too fluid or too rigid? So, guys, you should know that this is the function of the cholesterol. Cholesterol is the part of the membrane or the molecule inside the membrane which prevents the membrane from becoming too fluid or too rigid. Let's move on to MCQ number nine. The diagram shows a red blood cell and the concentrations of ions in millimole per dm cube in the plasma and in the cell which ions are actively transported into and out of the cell so guys uh, these are the ion concentrations inside the red blood cell and these are the ion concentrations out uh, inside the red blood cell in blood plasma so we need to uh, state that we need to choose an option which correctly shows that which ion is actively transported into the cell and out of the cell so guys if we talk about into the cell potassium ion has a lower concentration in the plasma and a higher concentration in the cell so potassium will be transported actively into the cell from a lower concentration to higher concentration because active transport is against the concentration gradient that is from the lower concentration to higher concentration so potassium will uh, will be transported actively into the cell from a lower concentration to higher concentration and we can see sodium over here sodium uh, has a lower concentration inside the cell and higher concentration outside the cell so sodium will diffuse sorry sodium will not diffuse sodium will be transported actively out of the cell from a lower concentration to higher concentration so sodium will be transported actively out of the cell potassium will be transported actively into the cell and sodium will be transported actively out of the cell right so the answer will be b MCQ number 10, what are the features of facilitated diffusion? So guys, you should know that for facilitated diffusion, transport proteins are required or the protein channels are required because it's diffusion, it does not require ATP because diffusion occurs due to, due to random movement, right? It's, it occurs due to random movement of molecules and it does not require ATP. It's a passive process and molecules are moving down a concentration gradient. So the answer is C. Let's move on to MCQ number 11. The table shows three processes that contribute to transport across the cell surface membranes. Which processes are the result of random movement of molecules? So guys, diffusion occurs due to random movement of molecules. Osmosis occurs due to random movement of molecules. Endocytosis does not occur due to random movement of molecules. The answer is C. Guys, you should know that the passive processes like diffusion and osmosis, they occur due to random movement of molecules. Endocytosis, exocytosis, active transport, they all are active processes and they do not occur due to random movement of molecules they are driven by atp they require energy right let's move on to mcq number 12 
Red blood cells were placed in a solution of sodium chloride with a water potential higher or less negative than the cell contents. Hemoglobin was released from the cells. By what process was the hemoglobin released? So guys, they're saying that red blood cell was placed uh, in a sodium chloride solution and this sodium chloride solution has a higher water potential than the red blood cell. So it means that water will move into the red blood cell by osmosis. And then they said that hemoglobin is released. So obviously, uh, water entry into the red blood cell causes the red blood cell to burst open, leading to the release of hemoglobin. So the answer is D. Hemoglobin is released from the cell by the lysis or the breakdown of the cell. The answer is D. Let's move on to MCQ number 13. Which pair of factors is inversely proportional to the rate of diffusion? So guys, we have to select a pair of factors that are inversely proportional to the rate of diffusion, which means as they increase the rate of diffusion, decreases, right? So concentration gradient and size of diffusing molecules. So guys, uh, rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the concentration gradient and inversely proportional to the diffusing molecule size. As we all know that steeper the concentration gradient, faster the diffusion, so it's direct relationship. And uh, as the size of the diffusing molecules increases, the rate of diffusion is slower, right? So A cannot be the answer because both the factors must be inversely related or inversely proportional to the rate of diffusion. Distance over which the diffusion uh, occurs in the surface area over which the diffusion occurs. So guys, diffusion is a uh, rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the surface area and inversely proportional to the distance, right? We know this longer the distance, slower the diffusion, larger the surface area, faster the diffusion. So B cannot, the answer, B cannot be the answer. Why? Because uh, one factor is inversely proportional and one factor is directly proportional. Size of diffusing molecules uh, is the factor which is inversely proportional to the rate of uh, diffusion and also diffusion distance, right? It's also inversely proportional. So the answer is C. Let's move on to MCQ number 14. When cylinders of potato tissue were immersed in 0 0.35 mole per dm cube sucrose solution, they showed no change in mass. What will happen when the cylinders are immersed in 0 0.1 mole per dm cube sucrose solution? So guys, they are saying in this MCQ that initially the potato tissue was immersed in a sucrose solution uh, that had a concentration of 0 0.35. 3.5 mole per dm cube and there was no change in mass which means that there was no uh, net movement of water right and this means that potato tissue uh, has a water potential same as that of the 0 0.35 mole per dm cube sucrose solution now we are placing the um, cylinders of potato in a sucrose solution that is 0 0.1 mole per dm cube which means that this solution is dilute as compared to the previous one right the previous solution in which the cylinders of potato tissue was uh, were placed was 0 0.35 mole per dm cube and now the solution in which they are placing the cylinders of potato tissue uh, this has a concentration of 0 0.1 mole per dm cube this uh, sucrose solution is dilute as compared to the previous solution and dilute solutions have a higher water potential this means that water will enter into the potato tissue and the potato tissue will become turgid this means that the pressure potential of the potato cells will become more positive guys we all know that as uh, the water enters into the uh, plant cells they become turgid and the pressure potential becomes more positive if we look at option b it says the solute potential of the cell will become more negative no guys if a cell takes up water its solute potential also increases the water potential of the cells will become more negative no guys uh, they will become less negative both the solute potential and water potential, they will become less negative or they will increase because water is entering into the cell. The water potential of the solution will become less negative. No, guys, um, the water potential of the solution will become more negative. It will um, decrease because solution is losing water. So the water potential should become um, more negative, not less negative. That's why the answer is A. Let's move on to MCQ number 15. The diagram shows part of the cell surface membrane what is the correct function for each of the structures labeled okay regulates membrane fluidity so guys you should know that regulation of membrane fluidity or the maintenance of 
membrane fluidity is the function of cholesterol which is r over here so r is cholesterol over here and it is the function of cholesterol to regulate or maintain the membrane fluidity so this should be r forms hydrogen bonds with water to stabilize the membrane so guys forming of hydrogen bonds with water outside the cell to stabilize the membrane is the function of uh, the branched carbohydrate chain of uh, glyco proteins and glycolipids right so this is the function of p so basically this is the glyco protein carbohydrate chain or branched carbohydrate chain attached to protein this is glycolipid in which the branched sugar chain is attached to phospholipid this is again a glycoprotein so guys uh, the carbohydrate chains of glycoproteins and glycolipids they make hydrogen bonds with the water outside the cell to stabilize the membrane transports ion and large polar molecules so guys transporting ions and large polar molecules uh, is the function of transport proteins such as q over here so this is q the answer is d